Welcome to the channel. Now we are about to learn what are the best tools for research and academics. Before going to the what are they, let us first of all learn why are they very important, why they are very important, very first question comes. Actually, the research or academic works, they require a systematic procedure to have the collection of the essential data required and it should be collected in a, a both quantitative wise and qualitative wise. Now, for this purpose, whatever the experiments or equipments we have, they are referred to as tools. And the tools are said to be the very significant for conducting either a research work or an academic job. Now, coming towards a few tools which are very important as the whatever the research or the academic works going on nowadays are all dynamic in nature. Sometimes we use websites, we use videos, but when it comes to our work, we require best tools to give us better results such that whatever the painstaking process that is involved in academics or research must be done easily. For this purpose, in this video, we are about to show you what are the best tools that are most preferred in the market. Very first typeset, next Evernote, eLink, and research kit. Now, let me tell you one point. Even though these are available in the free mode also, but they are available with a limited functionality. That is the main thing we should understand about while going towards these tools. Let, us, let me take you to that website where these particular tools are very useful are available for us. Very first among these four is the type research. It is type set. Okay, let me share it to you. The website goes along like this, typeset.io. Now, this is a smart alternative to whatever the MS Word or Latex we are having. Now, the main functionality of this particular website is it takes up our papers and converts them into the tool, whatever the journal we require for our purpose. Now, the website itself gives us a smart demo how it is going to work out. You can see the background video is playing out, how it works. We're taking the particular journal, it automatically changes the article what we have uploaded, that is raw material, into the particular journal format, and it makes the work easier for us to have everything at one place. That's why it's very percent important person thing in the research work or academic work. Now, these are the different testimonials of the people. First, you can try it for free, but limited functionality, but you can get it for subscription wise also. You can go for the pricing option here. Next one, Evernote. Now coming towards Evernote, it is also an important tool or best tool now, the best option is that it has the integrations with various already available tools in our system, that is mails and drive. It can take the documents from them 
and it whatever the documents we have already uploaded, it can be made easier. In that way, this Evernote is very much useful in our academic work also. You can see the costs also available there at the end, how they can be useful. You can go to this one, you can search for why it is very important. Here it is says that it keeps everything in a organized way to make our project in a very proper, easiest and planned way without making any hassles. And the next one is e-link. Now, whatever the document, even it connects our social websites, you can look at the GI available here. It shows us so many, almost all the things, whatever are there, like social media, what we use in our daily lives, in our mobile phones or in the laptops, they are connected to each other. And we can take any of the format here available. We can make our own templates. In this way, this particular tool is very useful to prepare our documentation for academics as well as research work. Even this is useful for creation of websites for the business purpose also. It is a multi-purpose one. And it also comes with the limited functionality when you go for it in a free subscription. When you go for paid one, you'll get good options out of them. It is also having automatic content creation option. And the last but not the least is the research gate. You can join for free. We have discussed about this video, how to join into this one for free in the previous videos. You can go into the playlists, you can check for them. You can join here. The main purpose of research gate is that you can share the documents, whatever the documents you, you can have a connection with the other researcher throughout the world. In that way, you can look into these aspects such that it will be useful for you to understand this one. Let me show you how it looks like when you join the research gate for free. Look at this one. Actually, this is this this is the account that I have created without using any institutional ID, as I shown in one of the videos. You can go for whatever with the overview. You can put all your things, and you can have a connection with various people around the world. You can like follow them, and you can share the documents. And above all. This particular concept is that the research gate is free of cost. That's why it is very much easiest and most trusted one around the world. Now, I hope this video has been helpful for you in one or the other way. For any suggestions, you are welcome to give it out the comment section so that we can rectify our mistakes and put out the answers in the future videos. Thank you for listening.